G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome to the first episode of the uh, Simpson Desert Weapon DRZ400. This is Chappie's bike, he's bought it brand new. What'd you pay for it? 9.3. 9.3, right yep. yep. What year? Uh, 2020. 2020, brand spanking, and we're gonna accessorize it is basically what we're doing it. Yep. So it's not a budget bike build or anything like that because obviously it's a brand new bike. We've got a whole heap of uh, parts over there which we'll be uh, putting on. Hopefully get all those on in this episode, I think. Yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually hang on. So this is obviously Matt's KLR650, but we've got to make room. We'll write up a list of uh, stuff that we're going to be doing to this bike. Rightio guys, so we've now got the DRZ400, she's up here, 9,300 right away, and it came with Bark Busters and the B&B bash plate. So as we're doing this build with Chappie, sometimes Chappie's gonna be here, but sometimes there might be times where I'm working on it myself. Just yeah. Chappie works away, he's a busy man. Um, so that's what's gonna happen. So we'll list everything, put all the costs, that all the parts that we put on it, we're what, we're guessing about two grand. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. We'll, we'll quickly go through what he's gonna whack on it now. Rightio, so let's see if we can remember all this shit, because it was a big list, wasn't it? We no, didn't yeah. bring the list. Chappie's already put on um, handlebars, so they are, which we've just written up on the board. They are Pro Tapper handlebars, Wyndham mid rise, and 25 mil risers. So that's already done. Yep. We know that it's, it comes with the Bark Busters and it came with the B&B bash plate, so a bit of the job's already been done. Yep. You've got a Safari tank. Yeah, Safari tank on order. What size? 17 litre. 17. Which you said I think uh, it ends up being... 21. 20. Oh, 21 litres yeah. you get in them. Apparently. Yeah, shit, right. So, Safari tank. Remember this... I suppose we should give you a bit of bloody... Uh, backstory, Chappie's been riding around on an XT660. Those bikes, it's got low clearance. Chappie's, everybody knows Chappie's a gun rider, and <laughs> <laughs> he is. <clears throat> so, I, yeah, you just needed to get on a bike that it's a bit you can lighter. Do, a bit lighter, it's got the clearance, you can throw it around the way that you throw it. I mean, you threw that bike around anyway, but yeah. it was just, yeah. You needed something with a bit more clearance. Oh, and for the Simpson. And that's and that's it. Reason. And that's why we're saying mm. it's doing it up as the desert weapon to uh, to get across. Right, so the safari tank. We've got uh, we're gonna remove that shit off there. That flash tape. Yep. So there's gonna have um, the frame guards, case savers, uh, the rear rack. rack and then the luggage rack on top. You're sticking with that, aren't you? At the minute, yeah. Yep. Tail tidy, blinkers. Do you reckon we're gonna put change the front ones or leave those? I'll we'll probably change them. Change them, so front and rear uh, ones, we've got the little, little tiny ones to put on. You're changing the front sprocket to... A 15. 15, and, which we've got. Yeah. And then we've got the back one to change, but we haven't got that one yet. Yes. So it's going to be 15 and 44, was it? Yep. Apparently that's the best for the DRs. Then. Yeah, for highway and then yeah. the off-road best, best thing. And a case saver with a little guard to keep it roadworthy for your foot. On the other, on the sprocket, the small sprocket. Oh! You know, the little guard and yeah, yeah, case yeah, saver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. What else we got? There was heaps. Um, the Barrett racks. Oh, right, yep. So Barrett racks, Barrett bags. Yep, I think so. Yep. We need to lift the hoses up, you know, higher off for the carby to go through water. Not that we'll find oh, it in the Simpson. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yep, all right, so you got to do that. Are you going to still put the, oh, radiator guards. guards? Have you got them here? Not here. Oh, all right. Are you going to still put the... Thing there. Front fender brace so yep. that you can then carry the uh, the compressor on there. We'll most probably have two uh, 10 watt LED lights, which you'll run up 
Do you still want to run yep. them up high like Max? Yep. Yep. Run them up high. And a little USB port. Charger. Yep. yep. What else have we got? You might probably swap those uh, mirrors out for the... Yeah, the, the flexible one. Yeah, the off-road ones. Right, yeah, so I think that's it. There will, be, there will be other other bits and pieces, obviously, but let's get stuck into it. Yep. Cool. Right, yeah, guys, so the first job we're going to do is these case, not case savers, they're bloody frame savers, aren't they? Yep. Nice, simple job to kick it off. Now, Chappie was saying the kickstand uh, sensor for not being able to start the bike, he's already disabled that. Yep. So did you just... Put the wires together. Oh, I soldered them and then used heat shrink. Oh fuck, you did a good job. You did a good job. Try to. <laughs> cool, right, eh? Time to take the tape off. Oh, look at that, Chappy, all your hard work. Yep. Just had to rip it all off. I think you got stuff on the other side. Yep. Didn't scratch it while I'm running it in anyway. No, <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's good. Cool bananas. So what's what goes on what side? Just by looking at it, what do you, I reckon that's... I reckon this is the left. Yep. Because it's got a little guard for your rear brake reservoir. Reservoir. Cool. Done. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier than this, does it? No. So I'm guessing, do we need Loctite for the nuts, do you Did think? the nuts have anything on it, if you have a look? No. Don't worry. Well, hang on, let me have a, sorry. No, they don't have Loctite on them. It's up to you, if you want to whack it on, you can. It's your bike. If, if you've got some, I yep. will. All right. A little bit will do, hey. That's it. You know, I don't know, should I be talking? No. Nah. Oh, you can if you want. This is pretty easy to do yeah. so far. That's heaps, I reckon. Happy with that? Yeah, because just oh, remember, you've got a lot of leverage on that. Yep. Don't cool. Do it. Don't, don't do an Alistair. He's a pretty strong <laughs> fella. <laughs> right, eh? Right hand side one to be uh, done. We prepared these tools. Earlier? Yep. <laughs> yep. So that one. Oh, so that had Loctite on yes. it, didn't it? So with this, they supply the extra bolt, which has got a little extra length on it. So we've just got that um, this thing to go on, and I think I'm going to have to have a look on the net to see which side it goes on because there's a spot for both. It's hard to say, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right, yeah. So we figured out the metal one goes on this side. You might struggle to get it on because I was a dickhead. <laughs> And I, oh, you're going to make it. Yeah. I fed the bloody, I fed it through. <laughs> to no return. To no return, yeah. That's all right, we've made it. Beautiful. But we noticed on the B&B um, website that they have a zip tie on the other side. But they don't supply I might grab one. some pliers and. Yeah, up on the, up on the wall over there. Bit neat, this shed. Yeah. Everything's in too much in place. Right, yeah, guys, so that's it. Done. Bolted on, strapped on, and then on the other side, we've just used a normal zip tie as they show it in the bloody picture. Hey, presto. Don't really think you need them, but they're there now. So Only we're on. 10 on. minutes? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Quick and easy. Yep. Next job. 
Rightio guys, so I'll just show you quickly what we've got here. So we've listed all the parts that we've got so far, all the dollar values. Like usual, we'll um, tally it up as we go along. So now we're just going to do that sprocket case saver. So obviously that means that this plastic one is done away with. I won't know how to change the gears. There's the five gears there. Oh, you won't have the lit, yeah. Bugger. Boom. So obviously we're going to do the, we're going to change that sprocket over too, aren't we? Yes, and we've already got a case over there. I didn't have to buy that one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, your, the one that you bought there looks a whole lot more... Um, a bit flasher. Yeah, a lot more beefier, that's for sure. Yeah, that thing looks bloody shitful. And at least the mud and stuff will get out now. Yeah. Right, hey, what do you reckon, what size do you reckon that is? 22? 22. Nah. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> no, 32, is it? Yeah, I reckon it's, yeah. Rightio, so apparently the first job we've got to do is uh, the locking tab. Tab. So, oh, I can just see it in there, yeah. Boom. So he's got to bend that over. Rightio, so bike's in first gear, wheels on the floor, and he should be able to give that um, a crack. See how far you, I've got the handlebars. Wow. I might try a different little idea. A friend of the bike, you reckon? He said, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, so it's loose, it's anti-clockwise. Yep. Yeah, it'll be right, you won't ever need to hold Don't it. Don't you reckon? Is. I'm just gonna, just in case. Yep. It's rolling. That's... <laughs> Holy shit, that was way better. Oh, that was so easy. There they go, aren't oh, they? Because I got the rat, oh. Yeah, right. Oh, God, this would be good if I could get it out. Uh, we'll have to loosen, yeah. loosen that back wheel because you won't get it back on. True, especially with the bigger one. That's it. Righto guys, so we just loosened up the back, kicked that uh, wheel forward so now Chappie can get that stuff out. While doing that he was having a pick at me because there's tools everywhere and he knows I'm a bloody freak for putting tools back. It's a lot lighter this. Oh is it? Here's the feel. Oh I don't really know. But... Yeah, cool. Hang on. Oh, oh, there we go. Bad. Beautiful. So you got your lock and Divi, yep. I guess we don't need lock tight now because you've got that lock and Washer. Good old Milwaukee. Yeah. Just double check with this, eh? Yeah. It's, that's the only problem with the rattles, like you don't know how. Don't want to do it too tight. Too tight or too, yeah. So if you try and undo it and see if it still spins that back wheel. Yep. Because that'll tell you that it will. It's as tight as it was before. The problem we'll have is yes. as, as you're turning it, it spins this back wheel and you just can't. Which way are you going? You've got to go the other way. No, this is tightening it. Yeah, but you want to untighten it. No, I just did. Oh, yeah. and, it, and it came loose? Yep. Oh, right. So you could go a bit tighter. Yes. Let's pinch a screwdriver. Yep. Up Which... on the other wall, bud.
can't get it through there. Oh, you're going to jam the wheel. I was going to. Well, I'll just hold the wheel. All right then, thanks. Let me just put this back over there. <clears throat> it's a mild night, isn't it? It is, yeah. Unless we wait till we tighten it all up and I... Oh, no, we... No, that's all right. <clears throat> right? Yep. That should be right, makes, you reckon? Yeah, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, cool. You happy with that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And now we just got to bend that uh, thing back over. Right, yeah, guys. So back wheel has all been readjusted. Front 15 tooth sprocket is done. So by stock, they've got a case saver. It's yes. It's kind of like confusing that the other things are the case savers, but that's a Front sprocket case saver. I don't know if you can notice that, but it says 14. So this is only good if you've got a 14. We've gone to 15, so this is no good. Or you could sand it, grind oh, it out a bit. Yeah, you could too. So this is replacing what we just threw out there. So really chunky, nice and light. Yep. There are threaded holes and non-threaded holes. So the non-threaded holes is what's going to bolt to the engine, is that yep. right? And then these threaded ones is where you have that, which is the front sprocket guard. Yeah, for roadworthy. That's right. Roadworthy. So that will then click onto there and the bolts will thread into there. But you've got some spaces. So essentially, if we can, you set that up and I'll get yep. these guys having a proper look at it. Oh, you reckon that's going to, so that won't go first and then that thing is on top on of them. that? Because if you look at that other one. Yeah. Oh, I see. I got gotcha. you. It has two of these at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, right. So they're on. Yep, gotcha. Glad you're all over it. This is where I should tell the blokes that watch me, we're not mechanics. You're just watching us having a go. So that's how it's going to set up on the bike. And the tapered ones go in there and yep. they go in there. Brilliant. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Yes. Right, I so lock tight. So you're gonna, are you going to lock tight all the bolts? Or only the ones that go into the engine? Uh, all of them, I all reckon. Them? Yep. Oh, it's only, blue's only temporary bloody Loctite anyway, so. No I'm not supplying the Loctite, you are, so. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to get it. Yeah, yeah. this is the problem when we're doing the filming, it's always harder. Trying to make room for the camera. And. Right, so we're just getting that bottom one on. Just enough to move it still. Yep. And once that's on, the chain still has room. Pl plenty of room good. to go around, yep. So for those, most of you already know, but basically what that case saver, or front sprocket case saver. Well, it's a case saver to stop the chain when it, if it snaps. If it's exactly whacking and punching a hole in your engine there. Something I haven't got on Max. Really? Yep. You know, living on the edge. Bit of a fiddle. So he's putting the spacer, then the case saver, then the wire tidy, and then the bolt through. <laughs> nice and fiddly. Might grab your pliers. All right, guys, so that was just a little bit tricky. Just got to hold your tongue in the right uh, spot. Done. Nice. Case saver 
front sprocket case saver done. Now the roadworthy toe front... saver. Toe saver, yeah. Yeah, with your it. boots there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of little things, isn't there? Yeah, little trinkets. Good old marks applied. Blue goo. That's it, isn't it? Yep. Yep, that's it. I'm just gonna put the spacer on. And only just nip it, I think. So you've got room to plenty of room to get one of the other ones, the other two in. The dog's coming in to see what's going on. What's going on, Perks? Oh, we're running low, are we? Mm hmm. That yep. should be right. Yeah. Fiddly. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, one more to go and then that'll be a job done. Another well, one we can tick off. That's it, but we won't bore these guys with doing this shit. What are you doing, dog? No way. There we go, guys. That is a job done. Bloody brilliant. So, what do you reckon? Well, obviously, so, uh, we've got the blinkers. We've got to move, remove that. Yep. And all this. To get that tail tidy, get the blinkers hooked up and then the luggage rack, so yeah, so we just start disassembling that. Righto guys, so um, we've basically taken the seat off, all the side bloody covers and shit, taken the number plate off, and now, so we've got four bolts. Four bolts, so two up the top, and oh, just on the sides here. As well, yep. And then hopefully this will come away with the wires hanging out. Pretty. Tricky. Yep. But it's all simple it's so far. It's just like a big Meccano set. So there's two there. Yep. And two here. Brilliant. As per usual, guys, oh, there was another two bolts. <sighs> so one on either side where you can see Chappie's bloody... Uh... Little six mil, this one. Yeah. And hopefully once they're out, so that's six bolts in total to remove the black part of the guard. So he likes his DR6, uh, six DRZs, does he, Alistair? Yeah. Well, you know, obviously, because we are doing single tracks today. Yeah. Done. Uh, when you're lugging around a, um, you know, a KDM 1090 yeah. doing single tracks. Yeah, cool. So it's only the wires that's uh, hanging that there. Yeah. Brilliant. So those two there are for the blinkers. Yeah. And then we've got this set for the brake. So on your tail, we need to open up your tail tidy and see what's in there. So that's what we've got there, guys. One stick, two stickers. Brilliant. No instructions. <clears throat> Hang on, short look is on. Green is earth, brown running light, meaning positive, and yellow and green are the brake light. Cool, so that's all we've got there. So is your, your original brake light gonna go on this? So that's... That's it, I think. That's oh, that is the brake light. Yeah. Oh, really? The clear one. LED 1, LED 2. You can see, can you read? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got them labelled. That's crazy. Oh, turn this around. <clears throat> so, that's... 
Gonna go in there. Yeah, so that's gonna go through there. Into there. Want me to take it over and... Yep. So and it's only two bolts, that's it. Two bolts onto the... Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Rightio guys, so I've got all this stuff off. We've come down to just that wire, or the, the three wires there. This is where Chappie cries, and we go snip, snipperoo. That's it, done. It's not brand new anymore. No, so, oh, God. so that's the uh, tail bloody stuff off. These have been unclipped from the top, and that's off. And it gets replaced by this. Yeah, that's it. Brilliant. Look in the business. So we've got three wires here. Uh, all right, so I'll get me stripper. Could we want to unplug it? Yeah, well, the, the plug seemed to be a bloody long way down. That's it, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, well, that's it. If you can unplug that, that'd be good. And I'll just... Pull it, your, pull it back yep. to you. See if we'll just go through. Well, there you go. That's the go. That's it. So we want to take some of that, we want to feed that back. I love this tool. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. So this is where we've got to do the test on this. <clears throat> so we know that the, oh, you took a photo, didn't you? Yep, but, yes. The photo to see which one is the ground. Turn that on. This is where the bike blows all smoke and... Yeah, it goes, it goes up in a ball of flames. All right. So what we'll do is just turn it on. So we should have nothing. If I do that, or if I, oh, there you go. So can you? Yep. Hang on. Oh, don't fucking. I, I can hold that away from. Yep. Uh, can you do your brake? No, nothing. All right. So now if I take that one there. There you go. And then if I touch that one. Oh, yep. Now do your brake light. Oh, right, so that's. No, that's turning on your, your, that's arse about. All right, turn that off. So if I now go to that one there, hang on. That one there, right, I turn it on now. Yeah, that that's, that's better, better. yeah, it? that's it. Right, A, so, uh, so. Take a photo? Take a <laughs> take a photo. So you can nearly do it over here now, can't you? Yeah. Bloody wise, guys. So uh, we'll now solder those. So that gets that done. We've still got to do your blinkers, but we'll get this sorted first. Yep. We'll use the um, soldering sleeves for that. Do a really good job. Oh right, yeah, guys. So we're using that, um, what do you call it? The soldering sleeves. Are you watching Chappie? Have you seen this shit go in action? It's good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. All right, that's one down. Right, so grey was going to the brown. We worked out, wasn't it? Yeah. Have a look at that picture. We'll just double check it again. Oh, it even works on these big ones. Yeah, yeah, all different sizes. All right, so uh, straight in on there. <clears throat> Just makes it so much easier than you know, trying to you know, solder solder like normal. Yeah, you know, this is soldering for bloody dummies. Perfect for a rear tail light. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, it solders. It puts the bloody you know nice plastic you know waterproof covering on it. 
Oh. There she runs. Two down, one to go. We'll come back to you. Rightio, guys. I think Chappie's happy with me, uh, me bloody set up there. So now all we've got to do is put this thing over here. And this is going to be a double whammy protection. Now, should we actually, we should test this actually before we do that. Hang on. Plug that in and see if she all works. Go for it. Yep. Looking good. Brilliant. All right. Done. Unclip. Well done. And now. It's a nasty little one, isn't it? Yeah. That fire. Make sure she's all nice and tight. Still on? Yeah, it gets me every time. It'll shut off in a minute. Yeah, the longer you use it, the longer that flame lasts. Yes. You've done well, you haven't burnt yourself yet. No. <laughs> I just, we're really close to the end there, so I want to put some tape on it. Just. <clears throat> Just because we can, Chappie. Why not? And we'll cover that red, eh? We'll make it all yeah. black. <laughs> oh, just, we're laughing because I was doing all this shit and then we weren't recording. So basically that's just two, two bolts screwed on, Loctite red stuff. This wire, we first put it over through there, but you can't do it like that. So we'll zip tie that to there and then it goes up and under. Cool. Make sure you look like you know what you're doing, chappy. Yep. All good. Excellent. All on? Done? Yep. Right, hey, go on, do the magic. Let's see it bloody turned on. Booyah. Bling, bling. Sweet ass. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Cool. And yeah, so the profile. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Look at that. Ready for the Simpson Desert. <laughs> All right, we've just made the uh, decision to move the, uh, or get rid of the helmet lock. So that's going to make the, all the difference of getting across the Simpson, get, removing that weight. Oh, it's a star. It's... Oh, is it talk? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, that's all right. Up there, chap. Yeah. On the wall. Might need the light. Bit, no. Is it a star? No, I need to put me by a short lookers on. What do you call that? Yeah, this, oh, I know. It's the torques, but it's got the centre. Oh. oh, I suppose because it's a helmet lock, but really, come on. Do you have one? Oh, I should have something. Right, hey guys, we got it. So luckily I had the torques with the, the, the hole in it. Oh, beautiful. Well, they weren't going to steal your helmet in a hurry, were they? No. Beautiful. Done. I don't have any of them at home. Well, you best get down to Super Cheap and get yourself some. Got everything else. Yeah. Rightio, guys. So we're um, we've got the uh, the rack out. We well, reckon that's just gonna go simply like that. Oh, why is that not going on there now? Down a little bit on the sides. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, what was I hooked up on? Just on the guard. Oh, right. So yeah, you had two bolts in there did we what was in there what was in those were they empty or or is that what the what was hanging on to those um, or are they just stock ready for something 
Oh, actually, actually, where's the bag that came with this? <laughs> We're all over the joint. <laughs> Where'd you put it over there? No, is that just right oh, there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right, you grab that bolt. I'll grab a socket. Right, so that's going to go straight through there. Booyah! Look at that! Yep. Yep. Are they nylon? So. Uh, no. Oh, they're, they're the, the, grippy, the ones. grippy ones. Do you want to put springies on them? Or do you. The grippies will do, won't yeah, they? Yeah, they should. Well, you can have one of those. So, have they got these are for obviously through there? So we don't need those other bolts that were the stock ones? Yep. Because they've already supplied them. Which will most probably work better on here anyway. Roger. Roger Dodger. What size are you guessing for the nut on the inside? You'll want that one. 15. 15? That's an odd number. I don't have a 15. I reckon 14. Wrong one there. Oh. Heck no, it's on the wrong oh. one. No. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there. 13. No, 13. Right, eh? Go for it. Do we want to leave it loose a little bit for a bit uh, of play here? Oh, or? actually, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And you reckon these are for there? Yeah, so straight through. Yeah. Did you grab all that? Yep. You got a... Oh, Jesus, I only just got it. There's, there's that, uh, there's a rubber cushion, guys, there's a rubber cushion underneath there, so you can obviously press this down. Yeah, there we go, we got that. Cool, we'll be able to hunker that down. Yep. Uh, I reckon 10. Spanner. Oh yeah, sorry. 10. Oh, where is the 10? Here it is. Oh, glasses, is that a... Yep, I've got it. Where are you doing it, mate? Yep, go for it. Have a bit of that. Yeah. Pretty tight. Yeah. All right. Yep. Pretty tight. Beautiful. Swap over and we'll tighten that up. Come out and hold that way. No, you're right, you go for it. You can have the, the smart side. That's it. Brilliant. Beautiful. Look at that. Now she's looking like a bloody desert weapon. Is it the desert weapon or is it the desert special? <laughs> I'll have to get Nay to make you up some stickers that goes on there. It says either desert weapon or desert special. Desert Storm. Desert, yeah, that's it. Alrighty, oh, there we go, guys. So the rack is on. So really, all we've got left is the blinkers to do. Is that right? Yep. Uh, the blinkers are only very short wiring. So what we're going to do is, as long as Chappie's happy, is so we've got that. So we'll just cut it back here. So that bit there, oh, we'll plug in. We'll again. plug in there, yeah. and then you'll feed through, and then we'll wire. I'll put a um, what do you call it? Bullet things that I've got here. They'll go on the other end of this wire, and then you'll be able to plug them in. Does that sound good? Cool. Brilliant. Rightio, guys. Status update. We're getting these blinkers uh, going. So we cut. The existing, oh, there you go, yep. Jappy, go for it. 
Booyah, working like a dream. So they've got the original connectors there, which we cut off that black piece over there. And then I've just put some bullet connectors on there because this new blinker had the bullet connectors. Done. Done deal. Righto, guys, we have now, blinkers are on. I'll just give you a quick look at the uh, system. All the wiring is all nice and neat. We've allowed a little bit of slack on these, just you know, for when these get moved around. Oop. Goes all the way around. All nice and tidy. So, let's have a look at the back. Look at that. That is looking the deal. Cool, other blink, I was gonna say is that other, yeah. Brilliant. Right, hey, front blinkers to go. Beautiful. Right, hey guys, so we've uh, got three blinkers done. I'll just quickly show you. So that's where the, uh, the big, there's a big hole there. So what we've done is we've drilled a hole to suit these little ones. You can just see there, just drilled a hole in that and that's where how we're mounting them. Jappy's bloody whacking all the bits and pieces on. Looking good, what are you gonna say? It's all ready to go except the blinker. Yeah, the that's, indicator. that's it. And we're also saying that we need, we've got to put a screen on it as well. And a bit lower seat. Seat, that's it, yeah. Yeah. And then we've more stuff for bloody whatever as we go along. Rightio guys, so that's it. Two blinkers on, hopefully they all work. Booyah. Bingo. Look at that. That is it. So she is all back. Brilliant. Done deal, chappy. Yep, thanks very much for that. Right, hey guys, so that's it. That's episode one done and dusted. Yep. We didn't have any bloody headaches or hiccups or anything. All pretty bloody sweet. The only thing is that um, the blinkers... Is that... Yeah, it's coming quick. It is quick? Yeah, quicker than what it was. So I don't know whether the globes that are, uh, uh, you know, like the LED stuff, it's not drawing enough power, so it's doing that funny, bloody fast stuff, I don't know. Just one of you guys might be able to tell us. Cool, because they are, they're all globes, they're not LED lights. Right, hey, there you go, so hopefully uh, we'll, when it gets small parts, yeah. we'll uh, do the same thing. Righto, remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.